Hey everybody, Steve from Flight Brothers here and today I'm going to show you how you can make your own flag poles for those popular FPV racing flags. You can buy them with poles, but the poles you might break or lose a piece and you're going to have to figure out how to replace them. So this is a perfect solution for that. There are some places that might sell you just the flag and you need to make your own flag pole as well. Either way, this is a great solution and it's easy and inexpensive. So let's get started with a few things that you're going to need. The first thing you're going to need is two five foot pieces of half inch steel conduit. You could buy one 10 foot length, but who wants to store and transport 10 foot lengths of uh, steel conduit? Instead, get two five foot lengths of steel conduit, and this is half inch. Don't ask me why it's half inch. The outside diameter is closer to three quarters and the inside is five eighths, but nevertheless, that's what they call it. Half inch steel conduit. Next thing you're going to need is some 5 8 inch wooden dowel. Now these come in three foot lengths and I cut it into four pieces all about nine inches long. And this wooden dowel is oak. It's important to go with a hardwood like oak because the softer woods can expand and they won't fit nicely inside of your conduit like they're supposed to. You'll understand a little later. Next thing you need is about a four foot length of half inch PEX tubing. PEX tubing is polyethylene and it's flexible, but can also be bent into shape. This PEX tubing is going to work as your flexible curved part at the top of your flag. Its outside diameter is 5 8 so you can slide a portion of it nicely into the top of the steel conduit and that'll turn into your flexible top. Finally, you're going to need some assorted hardware. You're going to need some small wood screws. You're also going to need an eyelet and some nuts. The eyelet will be held onto the conduit through a hole and the nuts will hold it on. And the eyelet will serve as the thing for the flag to hook onto when you pull it down and tight. So let's get started with the process of making this. The first thing you're going to need is take the end of one of your steel pieces of conduit and we need to drill a pilot hole for the wood screw to go through. So pick a drill bit that's big enough for this wood screw to fit through cleanly, but not too big for the head to go through, and go ahead and drill your hole. I've already done it here. Done. Next thing you're going to need to do is put a slightly smaller drill bit on your drill and insert the wood dowel into your conduit, leaving about half of it sticking out. Then you're going to drill another pilot hole through the hole in the conduit and into the wood dowel. Just kidding, I drilled mine earlier. So, next thing you're going to need to do is put the screw into the wood dowel through the conduit. So, I'm going to line these two holes up. There it is. And I'm going to put my screw into the pilot hole. All right. I've got my dowel in there. It's secured with that screw so it can't slide in and out and it can't twist. That allows me to put both pieces of conduit together to form one full 10 foot length. And that's a very strong joint with a nine inch piece of dowel through there, especially that oak stuff. Let's move on to the next step. The next thing you need to do is take your half inch PEX and you need to figure out exactly the length that you need. Now I had some flagpoles already and I was able to measure the length of the top flexible piece and it came out to be around 38 to 40 inches. So I'm gonna cut my uh, PEX tube at about six inches longer than that and then make a mark at the six inch length. This is how much tube I want to insert into the top of my conduit and that will leave the 40 inches for the flexible part at the top. So now that I've done that I'm going to go ahead and insert my pecs into the tube right up to that mark that I made. Now I have roughly 38 inches sticking out of the top that will flex for the top of the flag. Next step, 
For the next step, we want to make this end of the PEX tube slide through the flag just a little bit better. Rather than having this rough, jagged edge on top, we can take a hobby knife, a nice sharp knife, and you can just carefully shave it off so that instead of having those flat, smooth edges, you have just a bit of a point. This will help the flag slide through, or the pole slide through the flag just a little bit better. I'm going to go ahead and finish this up now. You could see here, I could probably clean it up a little bit better, but I have more of a tapered end on there that'll slide up through that flag just a little easier. So now that that's done, we're going to go on to the next step, which is putting our flag on and determining where that eyelet's going to go that the flag hooks onto once it's stretched tight. All right, so I've got my flag on, and I'm just going to pull this down until it gets nice and tight and the flag bends where I want it at the top. Once I get it to that point, I'm going to mark off where this little loop is so I know where to put my eyelet. So I'm just going to take a Sharpie and put a little mark on there as I know that's where I want this to stretch to, right there. All right. What I've done now is drilled a hole through my conduit right where I put that mark earlier. And this hole is big enough for this eyelet to go through. So I'm going to go ahead and insert the eyelet. I've already put one knot on there, as you can see, through. Oh, i got to tighten that up just a little bit so it'll go all the way through. There we go. And I'm going to install the next nut. All right, now I'm just gonna take a wrench and tighten that nut down so it can't move. Here we go. All right, nice and tight. This isn't gonna go anywhere. And we're gonna turn it that way so the hook on the flag, the loop on the flag can go around there and stay in place. Now, all we have left to do is to assemble it. I'm gonna take my bottom piece and slide my top piece on top of it, over the dowel, secure. Next thing I'm going to do is insert my PEX tubing into the top of that, to the mark, and then I'm going to slide the conduit or the flag all the way on, and when it gets all the way to that eyelet, I'm gonna hook it onto the eyelet and it should flex and be perfect. So I wanna thank you for watching. If you have any questions about how this goes together, just get a hold of me, I'll be happy to try and help you out. If you like this video, please share and subscribe and uh, we'll catch you next time.